We'll do questions from here if you have any questions. Sure. Well, I think it's important for uh, our American media to not only focus on those who are not, oh, you know, obeying the rules or uh, adhering to the guidelines, but focus on the people who are, and make sure that a representative of those, all of those athletes who strive to be clean, who strive to make a difference in uh, anti-doping and competing purely. Uh, that I think that's important to make sure that that example is set. Um, but, you know, for me, I, I try to focus on what I can do. Um, and, I, I, you know, I'm not perfect either. But at the same time, I'm trying to just, just be the, the best person that I can be and the best representative that I, that I see fit. Sure, absolutely. Um, I think, you know, especially in a high school level, uh, the awareness of drugs is definitely, it's there. And... Um, giving a message to them to, you know, saying you can achieve great results through just, try, you know, competing, training hard, and dedication. Um, and, you know, I think the great thing about sports and learning some of those uh, key elements is that you can take those from sport and apply them to anything in life. And um, that's what I have learned. And being able to, to share that with many kids is uh, it's a passion. Uh, it's a, I think it's unfortunate in a, in a sense, but uh, I don't think the majority of people feel that way. Um, the Olympic Games, the Winter Olympic Games, the Summer Olympic Games um, have been a platform for being the pinnacle of all competitions, kind of which everything else is measured. And I think we've had a great success rate at um, keeping drugs out of our sports. And uh, there's, you know, a lot of people are involved in trying to make sure that's that's a that's a key factor. Um, but like I said, you know, it is a little disappointing. But I, I think it's getting better, and uh, I, I'm very optimistic. Okay. Mm-hmm. Sure. Absolutely. Uh, I don't know if it has to be as stringent as what an Olympic athlete goes through. Um, like, for example, I'm here in Hawaii, but my doping association knows I'm here. They know the hotel I'm staying at, and they can come at any time. They know all my contact information. So if they knock on the door at 2 in the morning and I'm not there, they'll call my cell phone and try to figure out where I am. Um, but that type of you know random testing is what kind of makes sure that guys are staying clean. Um, but I think I, absolutely. I think that you know, at a young level, it needs to be adopted some sort of drug testing. And the reality is, is that kids are, you know, using uh, performance-enhancing drugs at a younger age. But that doesn't have to say that you know we can educate them as the consequences and educate them that it can be achieved without any of that. I don't think it's the norm. No, <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> I can't lie. It's nice. <laughs> chunky. That's right. I was chunky when I was younger. I'm probably a little chunky right now. I haven't been training. <laughs> uh, the Victor Awards is great. I mean, it's the 40th anniversary. Um, 
some really, really great athletes are here, and uh, some wonderful people are involved in creating this event. Um, I've been able to come. I mean, they asked me to come to you know Hawaii, and I'm just like, okay. <laughs> so it, for me, it's an honor to be able to come here and and to know that uh, there's an opportunity for me to maybe accept an award. And um, like I said, you know, it's just it's it's all been an experience for me, part of my journey. And uh, no matter where I'm going in life and what's next, um, everything is just uh, an awesome chapter. I am. I am. We are. Uh, I want to try and surf. <clears throat> That's like number one. Um, and then just just relax and just try to try to really just embrace, I guess, this culture and uh, just have a good time. You know, I'm not here for very long. Um, but this is kind of like the reconnaissance mission. You know, we go in early to check it all out, and then when we come back, I can really just, just relax. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Well, I mean, Apollo is A P O L L O, and my name just has one L. And uh, my father, it is Greek origin, and. Um, my father, he basically said he just took out, you know, this book full of names and just read through, and he basically pieced together two parts, A, P, and L, O, and then the O connects them together. Yeah. There is, I mean, uh, A, P means, like, uh, to steer, to steer away from something, and then the L, O means, like, look out, here he comes, and he kind of... I know it's it's wild, and the interesting part is that nobody in my my family was ever involved in sports. Um, so for me to have come from a, basically a non-sport, I mean, I, I've always involved in sports since I was younger because I was crazy. I had so much energy. But to be able to come to where I've, I've you know, to do all the things I've been, done is just, it's amazing. It's actually, it's actually pretty good. Um, it's really good. I mean, I think that sometimes certain media uh, put a, you know, put a, a really big spin on that situation. But in reality, um, without me, they would not be as good as they are. Without them, it wouldn't make me train as hard as I do. So we, br we together bring the level of short track speed skating to an entirely new speed, new tactics, and everything. Um, even for the past four years, training and fighting against each other during these races has really elevated the level in this sport. And um, it's not that we have tension against each other on the ice or off the ice. It's just we're fierce comp competitors, you know. I mean, we just happen to make the finals every single time and compete against each other. So there is that hunger to, to, to try and do your best. But off the ice, I mean, those guys are, you know, they're, they're relaxed. And they just, they're, they're like normal, normal kids. What's next for me? I am still contemplating on whether my return to, the, to the, this Olympic dream is going to, you know, entail a third Olympic Games in Vancouver, B.C., 2010. Um, I definitely would like to, to be a part of that games, regardless of whether I have my skates on or not. Um, but there's a lot that has to be to be done. You know, <clears throat> I'm at an age now where I kind of know what kind of training I want, the type of coaching that we need. And right now, uh, our federation doesn't have the type of support and uh, leadership that that needs to take it to the next level. So. Before I can commit, I need to make sure that, you know, the things are in place in order to have a support staff for the athletes to be successful, you know, coming in. I don't want to go to the games being 80%. I want to go representing myself 100% so that I can, I can go and I can work.